Guilty Gear! Guilty Gear! All right. We're going to be running Anji on the left, and we've had some conflicting reports about what character our friend Cow is playing today. Looks like he's going with the basics, all bad guy. We're walking in, folks. Get ready. I don't have a lot of experience with this matchup. Obviously, Anji is very good at getting around projectiles, but I do know that Cow is not a projectile heavy soul player. He doesn't use gunplay as much as one usually would. We're just gonna have to see if we can effectively use the counters and the spins to get through the worst of soul pressure here. All the grab right off the bat, knocking him out of the spin. Just Crushing him down the corner. The burst to get us back to neutral, but it doesn't even matter for five seconds because we're right back where we started. With, with the bandit bringer, but it didn't matter, right back into that pressure and finishing him off with the DP. Spun right through that, didn't quite get the punish, but to put him in a block for a moment. Oh my gosh, just uh, absolutely oppressive with those. Doesn't seem that she quite knows what to do about it either. That's going to be a kill combo, yep. Perfect to end off game one. Alright, we're going to see if we're going to start with another spin. Looks like it. Doesn't get any sort of punish off of it. Blocks it. And we're right back where we started with that uh, pressure in the corner. Getting a very meaty DP off here. She's just floundering over there. That's unfortunate. Another perfect. Fun little 50% combo out right there to start off the round. Just a run up grab. Oh, and another grab after the safe jump. Misses that grab. RC gets another grab and goes for the wall stick. Another perfect. Double perfect that game. Looks like we are making sure our controls are looking okay. Ah, uh, changing the input latency. Probably used to a different console or a different setup. Seeing if we can adjust to match the absolute monstrous pace that Cow is putting us at here. Uh, it, so if you're used to playing on a different console, sometimes the at, like base latency is higher or lower, so it, you can kind of match it with what you're used to. If you're not used to a lower latency, you might drop your links. Oh, raw super right in the middle of the stage. Doesn't do much damage, but certainly sends a message. Just run up, grab, not doing anything to avoid these. Oh, and taking that OTG, RCing off of it, and then just waiting for the punch. Yep. Got shimmy. Anji's spin go through grabs. Anji's spin does not go through grabs. Grabs are the one kind of tool you can use against it other than just waiting it out and trying to punish. That's the way to punish any counter. Wait till it stops countering things. Yes, obviously. <laughs> oh, got a disconnected controller here, unfortunately. Oh, 
the, what's the role for this? Uh, generally, this is either a dropped game or the two players can agree to just restart the, the match. Uh, at, here, we just kind of leave it up to the players whether they'd like to uh, keep going or just give up the ground. So we'll see what they decide. That's a tried and true, right? All right. And are we just gonna unpause and get back to it? Oh. Nope, it disconnected again. Hmm. Something up with the wires, maybe. All right, looks like we're just going right back into the action. Wild throw right off the bat into RC with the close slash, but we're right back in. Anji keeping up a little bit of pressure right now. Maybe, maybe that controller disconnect was a grace from the gods. Oh, maybe not. This is going to be death unless this burst can save him somehow. Wild charge does Anji have? Ah, and that grab's gonna end the set. What? Wild charge does Anji have? I believe Anji has blue wild charge. 